All right, man, torture talk, torture talk. Talk show. You know what it is, man. We back at it, man. We back at it. You know what it is. All right, man. Happy Kendrick Day. You know what it is. So look, man. So Kendrick Lamar has addressed, addressed, ad, addressed, addressed Lil Wayne in his new album. And um, he says some things that was kind of like, yeah, that was a slick bar. I like that. And, you know, he also says some things about Nas. And we're going to get into that. Now, before we get into that, you know, I got to get my spell. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your description today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. PayPal, not in the description. Cash App is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. Appreciate y'all for being here with me every day. I know sometimes I could be a, a nuisance. But I love y'all, too. And um, thank y'all for supporting me, man. I really, really appreciate this, man. This is, this is life-changing for me. And I can't thank y'all enough. So I'm going to thank y'all every day. So get used to it. All right, so look. Let's get to it, man. We be back to discuss. You know what it is. Start your talk. All right, so I got a couple of videos coming out. So y'all might see some random drops. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to release a video at 6 o'clock. Uh, but this this is 6 o'clock. But this is, you know, sometimes I record the day after. I mean, the day before for the day after. But this is today. And then day, when I recorded yesterday, it's going to come out uh, tomorrow. So. I had to get this Kendrick out stuff out first. It's urgency. So let's get this. Uh, yeah, you already know. Links will be in the description. All that good stuff. So let's go. What out there is your your words turn into to arms and and held me up when when I try to fall back. That hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. You know, I thought there was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. I hurt a whole lot. Um, but All right, so I talked about this before, and um, I think that Lil Wayne made a, he made the biggest mistake of his career by doing this. He should have never did this. He should have congratulated Kendrick and said, I will be on that stage next year or a year after next. Trust and believe. I'm going to work my hardest to get there. That's what he should have did. And he should have just did the work. But I think that he thinks off of his legacy that he's supposed to be that. But y'all already know that. Let me, let me just keep it going. Y'all. <laughs> y'all up. Amazing. The first Super Bowl was here. I made sure I bought tickets at the beginning of the season. And you know, I did the same when I moved to Miami. And I was wishing my team make it. And guess who made it that year? The mother Saints. I was able to give my mama that sweet. She was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans. And they had a ball. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my ass off. It's very sad to see people do stuff like this. Like you still like, like, and, and I know this is, this was last uh, two, three weeks ago, but he shouldn't have did this either. He shouldn't have did this. He should have he should have went up there and said, shout out to Kendrick Lamar for getting that Super Bowl spot. You know what I'm saying? I will be doing that spot one day. But I'm happy that that man got the spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. And if you want to call me to come and uh, you know, do a performance with you, I will, but you know, that's what I would have did if I was him. You getting on there throwing this pity party, it just looks bad. It looks bad. To get that position and it was ripped away from me. But this moment right here, 
They can't take that. Yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as I woke up today, came outside for a little bit, beautiful morning out here in Ace Time, did my normal one, two thing, business as usual, eventually got back to my cell phone, opened it up, scrolled down the timeline, and I said, wow, look what the wind that surprisingly blew in. Kendrick Lamar is all over the topic of discussion once again as he dropped a new album today out of nowhere, GNX. Now, GNX is a reference, and I think it's just the one, the 87 of uh, Grand National Classic, an American Muscle Street Car. If you know what that is, you know it's just symbolic for a lot in the game from an era and everything like that. As I get put it on, and I ain't gonna lie and BS, I was up here listening to see what he had to say to Drake, and I wanted to see how he was coming. I also want to hear. Yeah, this album's fire. <laughs> oh man, this is this album is fire. I ain't gonna lie. Every one of these joints is is, is tough. Every one of them. Every one of these joints is tough. You know what I'm saying? Every one of them. This is fire. Let's keep it going. That end the song on a not like us and everything like that. Turns out I think it is that on whacked out murals. But he didn't say Drake name, but it was other names that got mentioned directly. One of them being Lil Wayne. As I put his clip in the beginning to reference why with the Super Bowl talk. Also, he shouted out Nas for congratulating him. And he spoke on Snoop Dogg posting Drake's song Taylor Made. I used to bump the Carter three. I held my rolly chain proud. Irony, I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. Got Damn, the super that, yo, that bar is fire. That's fire. It's fire because that's a playoff of J. Cole and then uh, let Nas down. So it's just fire to how he flipped that on him without really dissing him. Because he basically saying like, like, bro, I used to look up to you, and you was that guy. And I did all this hard work, and you're complaining about the Super Bowl instead of congratulating me. Nas was the only one that congratulated me. And it's ironic that he uses Nas, and it's to let Nas down from J. Cole. <laughs> Crazy. Only Nas the only one to congratulate me. All these niggas agitated. I'm just glad it's on their faces. And on the Snoop side, he said, hey, Snoop posted Taylor made. I prayed it was the edibles. I couldn't believe it. It was only right for me to let it go. And I said, wow, he called niggas out by names directly. Snoop and Wayne. Now, when it comes to Wayne, I put that clip in the beginning, and I know why he probably does feel a way. This is his moment. Not that it's bothering him, not that it's beef, but he felt the need to address it. Every time Wayne spoke out against what happened at the Super Bowl, you telling Kendrick he don't deserve it. You telling Kendrick he didn't. That, that's a hundred percent facts. That's a hundred percent facts. You are saying that he don't deserve it. Every time you speak on the Super Bowl, you saying he don't deserve it. I am not one time hear uh, Wayne say, "Congratulations to Kendrick." Maybe I'm maybe I missed it, but I didn't hear it. So if y'all heard it post it but i'm telling you i did not did not hear it you know what i'm saying but that just goes to show you man people get in their feelings and they let their feelings dictate their reactions you don't supposed to let your feelings dictate your reactions not at all i don't care what these people are saying you don't work for it you tell the kendrick no matter how you slice the pie you know that i'm the guy they selected you ain't come congratulate me. You ain't come say sorry to Kendrick. That's my guy. But I just wanted to do it for New Orleans. It was strictly, hey, they they took this from me. They snatched it from me and they ripped it away from me. And, hey, man, y'all backing me up, but they let me down. I thought I had it. And, and I, I, I blame, like, he, two rents. The first one was right after, and everybody from Cash Money, you know, they were standing up for Wayne and things of that nature as well. Different people had opinions. It was viral all over the internet. Kendrick Lamar probably was sitting back looking like, nigga, this is my moment. Nigga, like, my time to shine. That, I'm telling you, bro. That's I'm telling you. If I'm Kendrick, that's how I'm feeling. I'm looking like, bro, what the hell? Like, like what the hell? And you, I got the Super Bowl, bro. Like, you you and Nicki Minaj and all y'all, y'all fake congratulations. 
And knowing that y'all don't really care, you out here saying, oh, you should have, Wayne should have had it, y'all should have had it, because it's all in self, selfish reasons. Wayne should have had it for selfish reasons. That's why y'all saying. He said, I felt like I was entitled to it, and they snatched it from me. I felt like it was mine. They snatched it from me. Like, why did you feel that way? Like, this is crazy. Right now, nigga, you really feel that way about it that deeply? Like, man, then when the Louisiana, Louisiana Fest came uh, recently, Lil Wayne got on stage again right there, called it out, said it was ripped away from me. It came out that Jay-Z makes the decision, him and his board and everything like that, but Jay-Z is supposed to be ultimately the guy. As I told y'all before, the NFL is going to go with the business move. Right now, Kendrick is popping. Kendrick got the analytics. Kendrick got the statistics. Biggest song of the year. He's proved to be an elite performer that the crowd enjoys. That pop-out concert. Did crazy streaming numbers. Stopped the world for them hours that it was going on. They went with the obvious pick. It wasn't no slight to Lil Wayne. But it feels like, well, hold on, bro. You talking down on it. That mean you ain't got respect for what I got going on. But that, That's 100% facts. I couldn't have said it no better. You definitely don't have no respect for what I got going on. You more about you. And it's like, okay, why can't we just celebrate that I got here? You know I'm worth, you know I, you know that I'm worth getting here. Okay, yeah, you, we're doing it in Louisiana. Okay, that's cool. But you still know that I'm worth it. You could have said, look, I know I'm worth it, but I got to give it up to this dude. He had a, such a phenomenal year. But see, he caught in the catch-22 because he can't really say that and still say he's friends with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously Drake was his 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 uh, protege, so he can't really say that. But I mean, I don't know. People have done done wilder things that I've seen, so I, I, I I'm guessing he can say it. Kendrick Lamar has openly said over the years he's a big fan of Lil Wayne, and he even said it right here on the Whacked Out Mirror song. Nigga, he was rapping Wayne music. I remember when Wayne said he was finna retire, nigga. That nigga Kendrick hopped on line, said, nigga, you ain't finna retire. Nigga start rapping all his lyrics and everything like that. Acknowledges Wayne is one of the goats of this thing. But now he said, hey, bro, my hard work to let you down. Like, what type of part, what part of the game is that? And as far as for Snoop, I can't remember exactly Snoop posting the song. I can see it happening, though, because they post any and everything on Snoop Instagram page. I don't know if Snoop posts the song. I didn't see that. He could have. I didn't see that. I think that Kendrick was just upset the fact that Snoop, like Tupac's estate, they went off. And I think Snoop kind of shrugged it off like, you know what I'm saying? I think he didn't like that. I think he was supposed to feel like like Kendrick was, I mean, Drake, I mean, uh, Snoop was supposed to really like go in. Like, nah, nah, take that down, bro. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. <clears throat> and he and I kind of feel like he felt like Snoop turned it into a joke. They did what? When? With who? How? Where? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what Kendrick was really upset about. Like he like he out here fighting for the West Coast and you out here saying stuff like that. Like, come on now. In that Twitter account, probably. I don't know who run that, but at the end of the day, whoever Snoop is responsible, nigga, your team should have known better. Like, hey, bro, we ain't finna post nothing of a nigga mocking Kendrick, nigga, right here in the backyard, nigga, right up the freeway from us, and they mocking him with your, with your voice and, and, and Pac voice. Oh, nah, that's a no-go. Nothing of that should be going on. So Kendrick just let it be known how he really felt about it right there. We'll have to wait and see how all that play out. But overall, the app, hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, the album's sliding, bro. I done jammed it. All types of sounds on there, beats, production. For y'all that say Kendrick got bored music, you ain't gonna better say that about this album, nigga. Nigga went and came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling y'all now. I'm telling y'all now. You can't, like, this is like, uh, I told you, this is like, this is like, Section 80 on steroids. I always go as far as saying this is closer to damn, and I know a lot of people gonna like this album. A lot of people gonna like this album. He's going to get a lot of replay on this album. I'm telling you now. It's 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 just it's just good. It's a good album. And I know a lot of people gonna like it. Just like I said about Not Like Us, this gives me that same feel. This might be his most successful album, to be honest with you. Cause this gives me that same feel 
of of not like us. Like for real. Redid the pot nigga with the reincarnated. I said, oh no, nah, this nigga doing the fool. Whacked out mirrors go crazy. The one with Doty Six on there go crazy. Uh, and he put a lot of California artists on there. And I'm like, nah, he really turned up with LA area artists on there. The one with him and Peso going dumb. That's the one that's called the uh, GNX. And also got uh, Hitter J3 on there. Got several other artists from Compton on there. Wiley the Sensei. And yeah, he, he did his stuff on here, bro. This is Yo, this this crazy album. how he put all these artists on. Besides SZA, because she's pretty big. But everybody else on this album is really not known like that. I don't really know none of these. Hit a J3. I don't really know none of these artists. Never heard none of their solo music, if they do have solo music, except SZA. But yeah, man, he 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 went crazy. Slide, dog. No doubt about it. People going to ride to it. I'm for sure for to put it in the car because I hear the beats already just going crazy in the crib. I can imagine what it sound like riding to it. Kendrick Lamar, we was thinking a new album was coming. Yeah, bro, he got it sold up. Kendrick Lamar, the MVP of the year uh, with the three number one albums. I mean, uh, future MVP of the year with the three number one albums. Kendrick Lamar had the biggest moment. But this album right here finna go crazy. Just in time, Super Bowl is in February in New Orleans. Then you got uh, the Grammy, seven Grammy Award nominations. Yeah, bro. And I just keep it real. We got to mention Drake. He got to come with the five music. All the other stuff don't matter. The music, the music, the music. Because this is a real rap album. That nigga on here rapping. Got the vibes, the energy, the stuff you can put up in your car, the things that's going to go up in the club. I'm just going to call it like it is, man. I, <clears throat> let, me, let me just put this out here. And this could have been last night, but <clears throat> I got a feeling Drake's going to drop something too. I got a feeling he's going to drop something either today, tomorrow, or very soon. I think he's going to. And just so he could kind of like take the, the, the momentum away from Kendrick, I think is he, you know, I mean, he already talking crazy on Instagram, doing stupid stuff on Instagram. He's always doing stupid stuff, but yeah. You got to come with that music to get that conversation different. The hit records, that's what you got to focus on. All this trying to downplay what Kendrick got going on, you can't downplay it. The numbers speak for themselves. The quality speaks for itself. The rapping ability speaks for itself. You can't even focus on him no more. You got to focus on the music if you want to stay up and get this, this conversation in another direction. <laughs> Yo, did a deer just walk by? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, bro. It's for itself. The rapping ability speaks for itself. You can't even focus on him no more. You got to focus on the music if you want to stay up and get here. Oh, uh, hold up. The numbers speak for themselves. <laughs> the quality speaks for itself. The rapping ability speaks for itself. You can't focus on him no more you got to focus on the music if you want to stay yeah what is that that's a that's a dog <laughs> i thought it was a deer <laughs> why did i do that i don't know <laughs> it's funny we get this this conversation in another direction focus on them hits tell me what y'all think we got more coming more videos all at 1000 for shit show stay on your all right man y'all already know Follow that guy. His channel's dope, man. I like his channel. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I I didn't know that. Was, I didn't know if that was a deer or a dog. It did look like a deer, though. But either way, yeah, man. I think Little Wayne, he deserved that shot, bro. And I know, and I know that that's gonna probably make him feel like that's gonna make him feel horrible. It's gonna make him feel horrible because he gonna hear that and he gonna say, man. Cause I don't think he was in his right mind. I think he was more being about himself at the time. And, but yeah, man. But shout out to Kendrick, man. It's a glorious day. Everybody's happy. Thank you, Kendrick Lamar. All right, man. I'm out of here. See y'all in the morning. Peace. Bye. <laughs>